Hello and welcome to Rustic Recipes. Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious pear relish. This is a recipe that was used by my wife's grandmother when she was growing up in Jackson, Georgia. This recipe originally called for 12 pounds of pears and that would make 8 to 10 jars of relish. But I've pared that down for you. I'm going to be using 3 pounds of pears, but if you want to use the original recipe, just multiply all the ingredient amounts by 4. So let's get started. We're going to start by coring and peeling our pears. The easiest way I found to core the pears is to first cut off the tops and bottoms as that will give you a nice target for your apple corer. Start from the bottom and aim at the center of the core at the top. That will give you a smaller target than doing it the other way around and you should be able to get the core out in one quick step. Then once they're peeled we'll quarter them and drop them into some cold water. Now quarter half of a yellow onion and one bell pepper. The original recipe called for running all this through a food mill which was like an old manually operated food processor but we're going to use a nice modern electric food processor. Drain the water from your pears and put the pears peppers and the onions in your food processor. And you're going to want this to have a somewhat chunky consistency so don't let it run for too long. Then we're going to drain all the liquid from that in a sieve while we start on the next part. In a pot we're going to start with one and a quarter cups of white vinegar, one cup of sugar, a half tablespoon of salt, a half tablespoon of pickling spice, and a half tablespoon of turmeric. Bring all that up to a low boil and let it cook for about 10 minutes. Don't let it boil too vigorously or you'll lose too much to evaporation. After 10 minutes add in your drained pear mixture. Bring that back up to a low boil and cook it for another 15 minutes. After 15 minutes you're ready to put your relish into some jars. Now I've sterilized these jars and lids in boiling water and we'll put the relish in while the jars and the relish are both still hot. Seal these up and let them sit until they've cooled to room temperature. The vacuum button on the lid should pull in and indicate a good seal. Let these rest in their jars for a day or two in the fridge before you dig in. And there you go. Delicious pear relish. Perfect on pork chops or grilled chicken or just about anything really. If you've enjoyed this recipe, please be sure to leave a like and be sure to subscribe for more Rustic Recipes.